Hey everybody, how are you? How is day two going for you? I hope that it has been as a successful kickstart as it has been for me. I honestly feel like um, we did the prep work for the morning meltdown and I actually did the first 10 days and it feels like I am doing my first day all over again. I don't remember the music. I don't remember the moves, although I do feel stronger. So, um, first things first, I want to do a little bit of housekeeping. I don't know if you noticed, but if you go into the modifications section, hi, Meliza, hi, Maria. If you go into the modifications section of the workout, once you're in Beachbody On Demand, like where you go to select the language, if you select, um, let's say, English or Spanish, I suggest that you do pumped up music, it now has or gives you that option. Um, I checked on Saturday and it didn't have it. I actually discovered that if I use my ear pods, I can hear the beat even stronger. Well, now they did so that you can just hear the music even louder. And of course, Jericho's voice is lower. So um, she mentioned that to help it become a little bit more safer and for you to get a heads up of what she's doing, to just select to have the subscripts um, in whatever language you feel comfortable, English or Spanish. I believe French is coming up. So I do want to kind of do a review of a few of the questions that I am constantly getting to make sure that we're all on the same page and that we are looking and focused on getting the best results possible. So for those of you who have been with us for some time now and you are following one of the Beachbody On Demand workout programs, this is completely something that you're going to be like, what on earth are they doing? And I encourage you to don't stay on the sidelines just watching what it is that we're doing, but get in the curiosity mode. And notice how at the beginning of each program, we're committed to like truly going in with the mindset of why am I doing this? Like, why is it important for me to show up? We, you will notice that we're very intentional about scheduling our workout time, about scheduling and preparing our meals ahead of time, being intentional and purposeful, even in the affirmations and the words that we're using. Um, and I love the fact, let's say, for example, shout out to Diana, who took it upon herself to set up a Zoom link to say, you know what, at 5.30 in the morning, I'm going to wake up and I'm going to press play. So if you're not working out to morning meltdown, but you're doing your own workout at 5.30 in the morning and you don't want to do it alone, join um, Diana Bernard. I promise I'm going to be posting up my schedule. I will. I don't have right now during the summer time. I don't have a specific time where I'm going to work out. I already know that tomorrow morning I am going to work out at 6.30 in the morning. So, for example, if you want, I will share with you the Zoom link the night before of the time I'm going to work out. Because one of the things that the B100 book does is that on each workout, there's a section that says... I am committed to tomorrow's workout. And it tells you at what time are you committed and then it wants you to initial. Why is that important? Because if the night before you know at what time you're gonna work out the following day, you're gonna be 100% more able to show up than if you just go to sleep and figure, oh, I'll wake up and whenever I wake up, that's when I'm gonna do my workout. Because then chances are, whenever you work, wake up, something else is gonna come in first place and you're gonna push your workout to the end. And then chances are, you're gonna push your workout to the end, maybe two times, then three times. And then by the time you come to press play, you're gonna be like out of motivation and you're gonna forget that you wanted to do it every day of the week. So for uh, 6.30 tomorrow, that is day three of morning meltdown, and you do not have to be following the same workout as I am. You can just join in. I love also the fact that it's not about doing day one, day two, day three, day four, day five. It's about the actual workout. So workout number three for me happens tomorrow. It could be your workout number 50. But if you want to join in with us, join in because we're all together doing this whole health and fitness journey. Elizabeth Pallero, what happened? Why did why the sad face? 
I'm gonna do 6.30, but do you want me to set it up at six and you can show up? Because I can set up the Zoom link um, at six o'clock when Diana's group is over. And then from six, so I would say 9.30 in the morning, there's a, that open space where anybody who is available can just log on to that Zoom link and you will find somebody to work out with. I can also do it that way. I could set it up so that from set, uh, 6.30 in the morning till 10 in the morning every single day, there will be some link available for you to show up to. I can do that too. Um, another thing is I noticed that when I was doing the morning meltdown prep work, I was lifting five pounds and I was hurting with five pounds. But today's workout was the, what do you call it? Upbeat strength. I did seven and a half as my light weight. I did 10 pounds as my medium weight. And I actually was able to lift the 12 pounds towards the end. But I stuck most of the time to my 10 pounds when we were doing that. Uh, you would find the link. I will post it back in here. Um, I will put it in the comment section, but I will create an actual post for it as well. And I will tag you. Okay, Elizabeth? So with upbeat strength today, I noticed that I went up in pounds. Um, but one thing I am understanding with Jericho's workout is that having a better form is more important than lifting heavy. So I started with five because I wanted to make sure that I had good form. And I noticed that I was able to do a seven and a half easily. And then I did the second set with a 10 pound and that made me shake. And I'm still burning from the workout. Um, moving in to the actual tracker of the B100. Many of you have asked me, where can you write down the information of your nutrition if there's no space in the book? So the goal of this B100 book is more for your intention, your mindset, and your collection of experiences throughout this journey. If you notice, there is a 100 second drop and write um, every 10, every 20 days, I believe it is. So every, yeah, there's one, yeah, every 20 days. So that means at the end of each phase of morning meltdown, which is 20 days, it's, it's one phase, you're going to have a 100 second drop and like literally just write, keep your pen moving. That is a powerful exercise to do. And actually, for those of you who don't know, that is the highlight of this program for me. Why? Because I'm not just doing this workout because I want to get a sweat on. I'm doing this workout because I want something to shift inside of me. I know that whenever I do one, of, one workout and I commit to doing it 100% focused, something new comes out of it. So for me, I'm not just doing this workout to complete 100 workouts. I know that the fact of actually doing the actions that are going to take me to complete 100 workouts are going to be the result of something different that's going to happen in me. And I want to be able to recall that journey. And I know that it's easy for me to be in the excitement mode while it's happening. But when I go back to look at it, I may forget certain things. So my first 100 seconds happened, all right? And that's when I devoted some time to develop my thought process. Like the question was asked, what is the one thing? So for those of you who are not following the Morning Meltdown 100, this is where you can take it upon yourselves and pick up a marble notebook and use the inspiration that we're doing this and do it with us. So. What is the one thing that will keep you committed to completing 100 workouts? And it could be for you 21 workouts. It could be for you actually completing your My Tracker To Be Mindset book. Um, whatever it is for you to show up, what is going to help you stay committed 100%, put that down there. Is there anything slowing you that down that you can work through right now? And nothing can stop you. She reminds you. And I'm going to tell you that I'm going with, at this point in my stage and in this season of my life, I'm going with belief. 
and I'm diving deep into the belief system in myself. And I had an aha moment while I wrote this and I realized that there's a cap on my belief. I know that I have been able to come this far, but there's a lack of belief in how far I can actually go from here. And that's a problem. That's a problem because I should have in a limitless belief system because the creator, my God, made me with everything inside of me so that I do not have any caps. I don't have any limitations. Yet I am focusing or I, when I think about things that are slowing me down, is literally my belief. My belief in myself, my belief in my abilities, my belief in in my skills, my belief in my understanding, my belief in my creativity, my belief in whatever it is, those are the things that are slowing me down. And I'm making sure that I go in and I write it down. Why? Because if I don't recognize it and if I don't take the time to jot it down, that means I'm not ready to work on it. And that's not who I am. So if you have an understanding that there is something that is slowing you down and it's not allowing you to see your potential, then take a hundred seconds and write that down. And I promise you, you're going to discover something different about you. Um, and with that, I hope you took time to create your, po your perfect morning. I hope you took your measurements. I hope you took your before pictures. I went ahead and I stepped into a video because I didn't have anybody to take my pictures. So I propped up my phone and I went ahead and I said, let me do a video and see what happens. I also went ahead and I put down what is my why? Like, why is this important for me? Like, why am I doing this again? Why? And I named who are the people in my tribe who are going to keep me accountable. And if you haven't done so, um, and you don't know who is on your corner and who can call you out on your own bullshit when you're calling it, who can tell you the truth even when it hurts, who can go find you when you go ghost, like when you disappear from the face of the earth and you go into what I call Beachbody Island, there is an island out there where everyone who has not been able to see their commitment come to life, they go there and hide out. Um, and then they sit there and they moan and they groan and they complain that things don't work. But truth is, they put themselves in that corner. And there's no th nothing we can do to get them out there because they put themselves there. So in order for us to help, they have to come out and say, help me, I'm here, remember? And that's what we're doing before the journey begins. Laying out the groundwork so that when you go and disappear, somebody can go out there and find you and they have your permission to do so. So I've already named my tribe and I've already listed why they are the people that I want on my corner. I hope you take some time to do so. And then it's gonna go into the workout. I love the fact that every single day we have a positive intention for the day. Um, and this is where you're gonna bring your thoughts into positivity. And I know that's one hard thing that it's gonna be a challenge for many of us it's to reverse our negative thinking into positive so sometimes we're gonna feel like we have no motivation but instead of saying I don't want to do this say something like I can generate like I wrote I'm gonna read you what I wrote on day one I was so tired from super weekend I was exhausted I did not want to go in 90 degree weather to a park and work out but I had given my word to a group of people that I would show up and I didn't want to but I did so I did I said I will generate the energy because I want to live and I want to lead by example I am alive I am breathing and I can move I will celebrate that and that was my positive intention for that day what is your positive intention for the day and don't leave your workout space without just writing that one sentence and then meditate on that sentence throughout the day because that's where you're going to find the strength to show up following up. 
I also want to mention that the meat, the morning meltdown has a nutrition guide and there are some updated nutrition um, recipes, I'm sorry. There's some good recipes that are, have been added into this. Many of you have seen me try the cheesy cauliflower nachos. Amazeballs. There is a black bean salad, yummy. And it also has the, it tells you it's a good lunch. And it explains, you know, I could see the corn, I could see the beans, that immediately mentions that. So I would love for you to browse the recipe and update your recipes. Get into trying new things and getting to see what is it that you would like, what are some that, things that you can adopt, and make them your own. But this is not the one and be all, okay? For the, everybody in this group, you should all have your to be mindset tracker i'm sorry and this is where you're going to use to continue to track your nutrition this is good for 90 days those of you who have already completed your journal book you can always order a new one or just go ahead and now you know what goes inside of the tracker put it in a marble notebook the goal is for you to actually track so that you don't allow excuses to come into your head and say that you're not seeing results. You want to see results, therefore you want to track what goes in your mouth, what you what you drink, what is your mindset, your weight loss, how are you using the bathroom, are you sleeping? All of those things have to be taken into consideration. And that's why you will notice that they're not in your B100 book. They're in your to be mindset. So these two books are your building blocks for a good transformation going forward. Don't skip it. Don't skip the process. And I know it is uncomfortable and I know it takes some form on um, habit forming. But the truth of the matter is, if you don't work towards it, you're never going to become that. All right. Um, for those of you who are looking for a personal development book to read, I am devoting a lot of my time into reading my spiritual book. I am focused on Atomic Habits, which is teaching me the small, particular understandings of forming habits. So if you struggle with sticking to something for a long period of time, then I suggest you follow that. If you need to understand, like, what's your purpose here on life, then Purpose Driven Life is a good one. Um, seek to develop your mindset just the same way that you seek to develop your nutrition and your fitness because you cannot do this alone. You need support, you need strength, you need understanding and it comes with the tools that are available to you. So I hope that these answer your questions. Um, Ilana will be going live with Jericho on the 1st of August. So if you are a coach and you have access to the coach launch group, you will also be in that group. If you have not clicked to join, you received an email from Beachbody and they have a link to the Facebook group. Make sure that you click on it and you ask to join. Um, there's gonna be a lot of information that is being shared by Jericho herself and that is where I'm getting a lot of my um, nuggets of information and that's where we can get better and understand. So Ilana is going live with Jericho on the 1st of August, I believe at 1 p.m. Eastern time and look out for the Zoom link for those of you who are working out at 5.30 with Diana and then I'm going to post my Zoom link from 6.30 to 10 in the morning for those of you who have that time frame in the morning. Uh, oh, I almost forgot. What happens, Onidis, if I want to double up my workouts? I'm going to put the calendar that if you want to follow, um, if you want to follow the morning meltdown workout in 60 days, as opposed to 100 days, you can very well do so. Um, I don't know what the rush is because unless you have things to do, um, <laughs> but if you do, that's your prerogative. You can go ahead and do so. Um, I, for one, like to trust the process and I like to go with the way that the program was designed. And I'm not in a rush because it's not a matter of who gets there first, but who's there standing at the end. And years from today, are you still going to be doing that? Or are you gonna overkill yourself to get to 
the end of 100 days and 60 days, what will you do after that? Are you going to go back to your old ways or are you going to stick to your habits that have been formed? So think about that and um, consider it. All right. All righty, my friends. I think I have covered it all. Oh, no. I'm, I wanted to also mention, can I double up on, let's say, for example, can I pair up a different workout with Morning Meltdown 100? My advice to you is do Morning Meltdown workout first. And if you're still in the mood to do another workout, then go for it. But if you feel like you're completely exerting yourself and you're pushing yourself harder than you should, then retract yourself and go put extra time in your nutrition. Because the goal here is not for you to be a fitness junkie. You can jump all you want. You can burn all the calories you want in a workout. But if you don't watch what you eat, it has all been for nothing. You prefer to focus, because if you think about it, you eat 30, I mean, you work out for 30 minutes to an hour of the 24 hours that you are awake. But what happens between those other hours? You know, are you truly devoting that focus and attention into the food you're eating? Most more chances are that your transformation will come from the attention and focus you put in your nutrition. So instead of focusing on, let me add another workout, because that's easy, go and put in the time in meal prepping or planning your meals for the following times of the day. And check back in and see how your results are going to be different. All right? Well, how with, uh, with that, I will leave you, and I hope to see all of your info coming up soon. Have a good one.